Hey folks, remember it wasn't all that long ago when we made that arbor. Well now we have those two small planters filled with spaghetti squash on one side and we have some sugar baby melons on the other side. In the other one, our cucumbers are learning how to climb. I've been giving them some climbing lessons and they're starting to get the hang of it. But as you recall, we talked about making the hoops that would go over these raised beds that can turn them into a mini greenhouse as a seasoned extender or a, a way to put floating row cover over or something to keep the insects off. But we're gonna do that today. We're gonna bend some tubing here and make some hoops. Now, if you watch that other video, you may recall that I said we needed to make a bender that had a slightly steeper radius to it to bend hoops around the raised beds. Well, this is the one that I made. And it turns out we don't need to make another one. So if you already made one for the arbor, or if you're going to make a bender, make the one that you can also use for the arbor. And then we can use it to bend the hoops for the raised beds at the same time. So anyways, for those of you who are interested, this is the one I made initially to bend the tubing for the raised beds. So it's the same length. It's a two foot board. It's just a piece of three quarter inch pine that I had laying around. But this one was eight and a half inches at the center. And then six inches in, I went up seven and three eighths. And this was eight and a half, seven and three eighths again. And then at the ends, it was four inches. But we don't need that. So if you remember the arbor, that was a two foot by eight inch piece of three quarter inch plywood, with eight inches at the center. Every six inches, we drew a line with a straight edge and we came up seven inches on each side. And then at the ends, it was four and a quarter inches. If you don't remember exactly how we swept that arc and made that, just look back on the video, the last video we made on the arbor. So what I did is I mounted the bender that we made in that last video on the trailer. I just used some wood screws and just screwed it right to the deck of the trailer. So what we're going to do, half inch tubing, metal tubing, is measure up two feet. On each end. Next, we're going to put our tubing through our strap and put it right where that our two foot mark there is right at the end of the tube of the bender. And we're gonna remember like rowing a boat, we're gonna pull it towards us, push it forward about a foot, and remember that the end is gonna stay flat with the trailer. Bend a little more, push it forward, bend a little more, push it forward. Remember, we're not bending it past the end of the bender because I could put a crimp in the, in the tubing. And then when we get to our other two foot mark, we're going to bend until that one just touches up against the end of our tubing bender. And then we'll just squeak it past, just a little bit past. Now, this bender, this tubing, because this one was made for the arbor, it's flared out a bit at the end. But it's an easy enough fix. All we need to do is just take and just pull those ends together a little bit. 
and we want it to be four feet because that's about how wide our raised beds are on the outside. And so then I'll show you here now how we attach this to the raised beds. So to fix them to the beds, it's just a simple matter. You want to measure up, say measure up about, oh, I don't know, 10 inches, 12 inches or whatever, and make a mark. And then you know that, let's yeah, say 10 inches, then you know that it's about the same on each side so that all of the hoops are going to be the same elevation. And so you just stick it down into the ground about to where where your line is and then it's just a simple matter of just using a bracket just a bracket made for half inch conduit and then just fix the bracket to the to the wood and just do that I think I don't know I think you know, three or four, three or four of them per per raised bed is pretty much all you need, depending on what you're going to be hanging from it. So that's pretty simple. Say, since this is such a short video, why don't we take a peek in the hoop houses here? I just want to show you what we got going on over here. We're going to be doing videos all along about this, but uh, you might find it kind of interesting. So here we are in one hoop house. We just planted these tiny little tomato seedlings that we had left over from our dwarf tomato project. Our little experiment we have going here. We planted these on the last day of June. And they were pretty tiny. I'll post some pictures later when we talk more seriously about what we have going on here. But in the 10 days since they've been planted, they have really taken off. Let's walk next door and take a look at the other hoop house. These plants were planted in our bucket kits, converting $1 used buckets into self-watering planters on the summer solstice. And these again were pretty tiny plants. We have 16 of them strung together in the daisy chain on that side, and I think we have 13 on this side. And then they are all connected to or rain barrels. So that's it for this one. Like I said, it would be short. But if you like this kind of stuff, if you're like me, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and we intend to keep making videos and there are going to be some pretty interesting ones coming up here. So we'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe. If you like it, like us. So until next time is Mark with Backwood Basics. Let's grow together.